Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Central Oregon and uh, this RV is going to get moved to the front of the property today hopefully um why <laughs> because we've been boondocking back here and we're going to be here for a while so we need power and set up our computers and all that stuff and uh can't really d get any editing done and stuff so ah uh, we gotta take the canopy off the truck you see my truck back there it's got a canopy so that comes off today uh the hitch is in there we have to kind of place the hitch and then we cinch everything up here go down the road here this little road inside the house bring it around to the front side and then I have access to power there so uh, that'll be a busy day we got all the lawns mowed here stuff so it looks real pretty uh, today we're gonna do some pressure washing of the house a little bit and uh, do some miscellaneous things and Thank goodness my son's here and her, his wife and the kids, and uh, they've been very helpful. So, uh, yeah, busy day, so uh, we'll keep uh, keep you posted as we go here. Well, guys, we got the RV moved to the new location. Uh, we're now in the front of the property that we are uh, been at before. You can kind of see behind me here. Uh, the beautiful scene we see. We got the RV right here all set up. Um, so this is a little nicer for us because we have power and uh, here uh, for septic we, we have power but for septic I use a um, mobile septic tank and we have a dump in the back of the property and uh, we do dump our gray water here and uh, yeah it's very good setup uh, boy my RV really needs a bath so this has been quite the adventure for us. Um, we got the lawns mode, as you can saw in the prior video. And uh, <laughs> we uh, had to sp uh, spray the property around the houses and stuff for lots of spiders and stuff like that. It hasn't been taken care of for a while. Um, been trying to fix the pond, and I'll show the pond to you in a little bit. Uh, we had to uh, cut some trees right here um, in order to make sure the RV fit had a lot of branches and we had to use the tractor for the first time and that was uh, quite the adventure and uh, so yeah but we got a handle on it got power right here and uh, uh, I could put water directly to the RV we are getting close to the winter so uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to do that or not eventually we'll be in in the house and uh, um, won't have to stay in the RV but uh, for a while we be uh, utilizing the RV this is really a good opportunity to show what you can do with your RV where you make it a, a vacation home or you can uh, use it for oh, temporary stays and in our case of family emergencies and stuff we, that's why we had the RV here and unfortunately the time has come where uh, <clears throat> it's being used for kind of what we knew might happen someday but uh, yeah I thought I'd show you around uh, some of the projects I've been working on <laughs> the city sucker is now starting to get exercise I'm bound to lose some weight now and <laughs> got a lot of property to take care of and uh, uh, just like uh, the yard uh, had to take the canopy off the truck over here and uh, luckily I had some neighbors help me get it off put it back on we got it all bolted on uh, been checking water systems uh, winter is coming up fairly fast here so there's a lot of things I have to have ready uh, to have this property winterized uh, one is it has a, a very intense watering <laughs> system in the yard and so uh, next month I'll have it blown out and we'll shut her down for the winter so uh, 
I, uh, we do have a pump house here. We have our own water, and so uh, making sure the pumps and everything and is insulated. Heating lamps are in there. All kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that's just kind of a taste of some of the stuff. Um, there's a whole lot of things I'm going to show you, so I'm going to make a lot of short videos. Try to put them together kind of close so you can follow along. Uh, uh, I think the next kind of things I'd like to show you some of the equipment we've been using, show you the pond that um, we've been working on the problem on the pond. <laughs> it's leaking. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, there it is, guys. Good morning, everyone. It's actually a, a foggy morning. It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> I thought I'd show you my uh, dilemma with the pond that's leaking. <laughs> I gotta see how much water I've leaked. Um, actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, there it is. How's that? Isn't that pretty? <coughs> so, uh, what I'm discovering is this has a water, a waterfall, and some things here, and the water hasn't dropped as much since I turned that off. So that tells me where the leak, leak is coming from the waterfall. So, uh, anyway, it's a very pretty pond. It used to have some koi in it, but a, a year or two ago, um, I had a hard freeze. And usually the fish survive, but it froze way too much and uh, killed all the fish. So we'll probably put some more fish in it. But uh, yeah, interesting. So uh, another thing is <clears throat> they have a lot of gardens here. So we had to do a lot of spraying, uh, spraying to get the critters away from the house a little bit. And we got to trim back a lot of um, plants and stuff. Um, uh, my father-in-law was getting up in age and um, it was getting harder to take care of this place and uh, totally understandable so uh, we got some work to do uh, but I don't <laughs> but it's a very pretty place but need to get some work done so uh, that's my newest project is um, adjusting my water flow I actually have a water system coming from the house that goes to fill the pond and I put a timer on it and uh, instead of a float because uh, the floats uh, uh, the last one rusted up and actually flooded the area and uh, I don't want to flood this area it's too close to the house and turns this into a real soft dirt you know soft and muddy we don't want that so yeah, that's our latest project. It's a very pretty pond, and uh, I'll let you have a little better look at it. <coughs> and uh, oh, we get some real pretty birds and uh, little frogs, and <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. So guys, I uh, want to thank you uh, for the support and good wishes. When you have a family member um, like Sherry's father passed, um, and uh, a surviving wife, we're going to step up and take care of her as we promised. And yeah, we have an overwhelming scenario here, along with our Arizona setup, and it's overwhelming <laughs> and it's hard. And we're going to have life changes. And it's not easy. And uh, we got a, a hard road to hoe. Although it sounds like and looks like everything's uh, cool and far out here. And oh, we got to take care of some property. It's not going to be easy. And uh, that's okay. Um, there'll come a time when me and Sherry. We'll have to ask our our kids to take care of us too, and uh, so 
to find the balance of your old lifestyle and a new lifestyle and bringing someone into it uh, keeping a promise is important and uh, which we are uh, it's gonna be tough and we appreciate the nice comments we've been getting and uh, uh, there would be a lot of funny stories of just getting used to uh, getting back on uh, taking care of property again uh, there's some happy things that will come along. Uh, Central Oregon is a very gorgeous area, which is the Bend, Oregon area. People wondering what it is. And uh, uh, you can see we have to mow all that grass too, <laughs> along with all that grass over there. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, lots of wildlife here. We will uh, be showing more videos of the area. It's a gorgeous area. I've lived here for 10 years before. And uh, it's a great place for pets, great place for kids to come and enjoy the outdoors and still be safe. And uh, winter's coming. Uh, we'll have to get this place ready for winter, along with getting our Arizona house ready, <laughs> ready for winter and things like that. So um, we have a full plate. So anyway, we'll be okay. And we... Uh, wish everybody uh well we thank everybody for the good wishes and uh we we'll have lots of great stories for you and some gorgeous photography and some of this region it's a beautiful area and uh i have one happy dog too so uh, there you go guys uh a lot on our plate we'll be okay and uh we we'll just take it one day at a time. But uh, keeping our promise. Um, making sure that um, Sherry's parents are always happy and, and have a fulfilled life. And uh, like I said, the, it could change and I may need that for my, my kids. Better lead by example, right? So, hey, thanks again, guys. Till next time. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.